Okay, hi there. Uh, in our economics class today, we were thinking about positive and normative statements and the concept of value judgments came up in discussion. So let's just spend a few minutes in this short video taking a quick look at the idea of value judgments in economics. First of all, what is a value judgment? Well, one definition is that it's an evaluative statement, if you like a subjective evaluative statement of how good or bad you think a particular idea or a particular action or policy is. So oftentimes when you read or hear a value judgment being expressed, it's couched in prescriptive terms. People are expressing a normative view that may often reveal certain attitudes or behaviours uh, towards the, the world in which we live. So a value judgment is a subjective statement of opinion in contrast to an objective fact or an objective theory that can be tested uh, by looking at the available evidence. Now, crucially, all, all government economic policies, uh, from micro to macro, every single policy intervention is influenced to one or more degree by the value judgments. And of course, they're going to vary from person to person. Competing views about the world in which we live is the essence of political debate and discourse. And that's certainly true in economics, which in many ways is a form of political economy, trying to choose the right, the most effective policies, perhaps, for a given situation. Now, positive statements, um, in a sense, ought to be value judgment free. They're objective statements you can test, amend, reject by looking at the available evidence. Positive economics tends to deal with objective explanation and the testing and rejection of theories. But often it's quite hard to, to be value judgment free because we all bring to discussion and we all bring to debate uh, a set of, of values and ideas. And those, those of course, can, can change over time. Uh, deciding whether a statement is positive or normative is actually a really quite common multiple choice question for A-level and IB. So look out for these kind of questions. They tend to come at the start of papers, obviously it's one of the early topics. And the examiners, sneakily, may include words such as should in a statement that actually the statement is positive, but it's done to make students think they're normative and contain value judgments. So look out for that in an exam question. The rule of thumb to hang on to is that please always consider whether the statement can be tested. If a statement can be tested, then it is indeed a positive statement. Economics is permeated by value judgments of an ethical character at nearly every, every stage. Should the UK government, for example, increase the living wage? Should people, uh, essentially, should people be paid a higher wage rate per hour and should that be protected by law? In the current context, should the UK government offer specific financial support, maybe a bailout, to sectors hit hard by the pandemic, such as bars and indoor sports and other, other, uh, other businesses in the hospitality sector? These questions invite value judgments to be part of the answer. Well, I hope this made sense. Uh, if you get any question on positive normative statements, understanding what a value judgment is will certainly help you. Okay, thank you.